Hi everybody, my name is Jen McCarter. I am a yoga teacher at Beck Center for the Arts and I'm here to share a short practice with you today. If you need a little bit of a lift from the earth to your hands when you bend over into a forward fold, you may want to grab a couple of props before you join me and I will meet you on the mat. Um, you can use anything. You can use soup cans, yoga blocks, water bottles, or maybe even a fluffy furry friend that lives with you. So come on over. We're gonna start out in mountain pose. So find mountain pose. Your feet will be roughly two fist widths apart, rooting down into the four corners of your feet. The big toe ball mound, the little toe ball mound, the inner and outer heel. Let your legs press into the floor and lift up through the muscles, drawing the muscle to the bone. Feel the belly button tuck in towards the rib cage. Lift the heart. You're going to broaden the shoulders, separating the collarbones. Feel that nice big stretch and open in the heart. Draw the ears back to stack over your shoulders. Hands come alongside the body. Feel the earth underneath you. Feel yourself grounding into this moment. Take a deep breath in. Big breath out. Breathe in. Breathe out. On your next breath, we're going to lift the hands overhead. Reach up. As you exhale, forward fold. Inhale and lengthen halfway. So bring your hands onto your shin. Your hips press out through the crown of your head. Exhale and fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, the hands to the heart. Another deep breath in. Reach up. Exhale and fold. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, the hands to the heart. All right, we're going to add on. Take a big breath in and reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. As you exhale, step your left foot to the back of the mat. Drop your knee down. Untuck your, big, your toes so that your foot is flat on the floor. On an inhale, rise up. Lift the arms overhead. If that's too much, you can bring your hands onto your front thigh and lift and lengthen through the heart. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Feel the stability in the core. We always want to draw everything towards the center. Squeezing the, the energy towards the center, and then we can shine out as we reach up. Exhale, the hands to the mat. Pick up the back toes and step forward. Forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Rise up. Exhale, the hands to the heart. Now you can sweep your arms out wide as you come up. I'm modifying because my wall is in the way. As you exhale, forward fold. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale, step the right foot back this time. Drop the back knee down, untuck the toes. Inhale, lift. Lifting out through the fingertips, drawing the ribs back. Lift the heart, maybe even lift the gaze. Breathe in, exhale the hands to the mat. Pick up the back toes, step forward. Inhale and rise halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands to the heart. One more of those, inhale. See if you can let your breath guide you. Exhale, inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, step the left foot back. Drop the back knee down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, the hands to the mat. Step forward, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, the hands to the heart. Next side, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, step the 
the right foot back. Drop the back knee. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, the hands to the mat. Step forward, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale and fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, reach the hands overhead. Exhale, the hands to the heart. Start to feel into the energy that's coming into the body now. The prana, the life force moving through you. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale and fold. Bring your big toes to touch now. Squeeze the knees together. Drop the hips back and down. And inhale, lift the heart. So you're going to reach out through the fingertips into chair pose. Draw the hips back. Feel your shins pulling back. Feel your hips dropping down. Big breath in. Getting strong in the body. Big breath out. Inhale. Exhale. Stay with it. One more breath. Exhale, forward fold. On an inhale, lift the heart halfway. Exhale, step back to plank pose. So you can always modify plank pose by bringing your knees down. But what I want you to do is think about drawing the core in at the same time. So even if you're modifying, don't just be here in tabletop. Find your hips forward, engaging the core. Nice deep breath in and a big breath out. Big breath in, big breath out. Now everybody drop your knees down and we're gonna start to hug the elbows back towards the ribs as you lower your chest and your chin to the earth, leaving your hips up, inhale, scoop forward, tops of the feet to the mat, press the tops of the feet in and we'll inhale up to baby cobra, lift the heart. Exhale and lower. Inhale and lift. Exhale and lower. One more. Squeeze the heart up, drawing the shoulder blades down the back. Exhale, lower. Tuck the toes, press the hips back towards the heels, and then find downward facing dog. Walk out your dog, so you're gonna to start to bend one knee and the other. So as you bend one knee, draw the opposite heel towards the earth. Really waking up the hamstrings, the back body, pedaling it out. Three more breaths here, breathing in and breathing out. Widen the shoulders away from each other, breathing in and breathing out. One more. And let it go. Looking forward to the top of the mat. Walk, step, or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, lengthening halfway. Exhale and fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, the hands to the heart. On your next breath, we're gonna take a big wide step back with your left foot, and we're gonna make your way to warrior two. So as you land here, look down at the mat, notice that your front heel is roughly in line with your back arch. Your back toes are in slightly towards the top of your mat. Bending into the front knee, you wanna to look to see that you have your knees stacked over your ankle or behind your ankle, but not in front. You want to keep the knees safe and then you're going to roll your pubic bone down and open the arms let your arms feel like they're floating on air reducing some of the effort look out over your front middle fingernail big breath in and a breath out breathing in and let it go Flipping your front palm, we're gonna reverse the warrior up and back. Lift up and back, open through the heart. As you exhale, elbow to knee. Sweep the left arm forward, roll the heart open. Inhale up, reverse your warrior. Exhale, elbow to knee. 
Inhale up. Exhale, elbow to knee. Now stay right here or reach forward like you're grabbing for a great big beach ball overhead. Inhale, come all the way up. Arms come out to a T, straighten the front leg. We're gonna go for triangle pose. Reaching the left hip back, reach forward with the right hand. The hand will land on the shin. Roll the heart open, lift the left hand to the sky. Breathe here. Big breath. Find it flowing all the way down into your abdomen. Bending slightly into that front knee. Let the top arm pull you up. Bring your hands to your hips. Turn your toes to face the side of your mat. So the long, the long edge of your mat. Big toes will come in slightly. Lift up through the heart. As you exhale, forward fold. You can bring your hands down to the mat to blocks. Maybe to your big toes. Lifting out through the heart, let your head hang. Big breath in and a big breath out. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in and let it go. Slowly let your hands come back to the hips. Make your way up to standing. Second side, we're gonna turn the toes out. The left toes come out, the right toes come in slightly. Bending into that front knee, finding warrior two. Press out through the back foot. Feel everything moving. Flip your front palm, reverse your warrior. Exhale, elbow to knee, sweep the arm forward. Inhale and lift. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale. Exhale. This time stay with this. Or you're gonna reach that arm forward, reaching for that big beach ball. Let the top arms pull you back up. Straighten the front leg, open the arms. Reaching forward with your front hand, let that hand land on the ground. Roll the low ribs open. Feel the side body, the left side body getting long as you lift the right arm to the sky. Look up, maybe. If it feels okay in your neck, breathing in, breathing out. Shine out through the fingers. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, and breathing out. Bend into that front knee. Let the arm pull you up. Spin yourself, windmill yourself all the way down to the front of your mat. Make your way to plank pose. Beautiful, downward facing dog. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. One more. Looking forward to your hands, you're gonna make your way forward to your knees and then cross your ankles, roll over your knees, come onto your back. Let's hug both knees in. Gentle rock on the spine, maybe some great big circles, warming the core. Go the other direction. Bringing your feet onto the floor. We're gonna take the right leg up, extend it towards the sky, interlace your hands behind your leg. Pressing into the hands with the leg and pulling against the leg with the hand. Feel that dynamic exchange. Take a deep breath in, let it go. You can stay with this, or on your next inhale, you can start to walk your hands up and your leg and draw your nose in towards your knee. Breathing in, breathing out, 
Breathing in, breathing out, release back down, slowly lower your leg to the ground. Second side, squeeze the left leg in, extend it to the sky, press out through the heel, take a deep breath in, and a big breath out. Big breath in. Breathing out. One more breath. Let it go. On your next inhale, you can walk your hands in. Draw your nose towards your knee. Feel that pulling towards you. Engage your core. Breathing in. And breathing out. One more. And let it go. Let that leg slowly lower back down to the earth. Let's hug both knees in. Gentle rock on the spine. Taking the knees over to the left. Let your right arm open up into a T, coming to a twist. Look over your right shoulder. Take a deep breath in. And let it go and just find your breath landing in the body as it's going to feel the ribs spreading open feel engagement in the core as each breath you take stretches the canvas a little bit more slowly come back to center we'll go the other way taking a twist to the left or to the right, open your left arm. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. One more. Let it go. Slowly make your way back up. Find a simple seat. So you're gonna find a simple seated posture. Legs can be crossed. Sit up nice and tall. Feel yourself landing here in this moment. Notice the space that's being created in your body through this practice. As we expand and extend our bodies, we can open the mind. We use the breath to anchor us to the present moment and create a little bit more space where there might have been only tension. Take a deep breath, feel your lungs expand, feel the abdomen puff, feel the heart lift. Slowly exhale. Big breath in, filling up. Slowly exhale. One more, filling up. And let it go. Bring your hands to the heart. As you move from here, off of your mat, or into Shavasana, lying still on your mat, just know that you can come back to the breath, you can calm your nervous system, you can clear your mind, and you can expand your consciousness through practice. So I hope that this practice serves you and I hope to see you in person sometime very soon. Namaste.